unfortunately for them, they came out one and three. Five on the shot clock. Hall attacks the rim. Nice feed to Kirkman. Who throws it? Kennedy just checking in. Freshman from right here in Chicago. Rowling reversed on Robbins. Nice defense, Crutwig. Kennedy transition finished by Crutwig. And he has been wildly consistent all season long. Lucas Williamson. Crutwig screams. Pick and roll. Cameron Crutwig lay in and one. 16 a game for the Rambles. as a late bloomer in the recruiting circles. He is from Chicago. Crutway, acrobatically. Braves have success in the zone. They kept the ball out of Crutway's hands. Crutway, great adjustment. Rutwig through traffic and one. When we went to the Sweet 16 back in in that time frame, the Loyola run reminded me so much of when we... That clearly it was a good locker room speech for Bradley. Rutwig dumped it down low. He gets it back. And again, they're letting him down low. Jumper at the top, and, and I don't think anybody's going to have a problem firing from distance here tonight, right? But in transition, that's what Porter Mosier wants to get up in the three-point shooters of the Panthers. One out of every three. If there's, if he gets the long-range shooting going, he'll be unstoppable. Set opportunities, and then a zone out of that timeout also by that Lottic, a one-three-one. Crowley, he's going to wait to see if the double team comes again. Used great footwork, threw it up there, got it back, did not hit the rim. But he puts it up back in anyway. Field goal percentage. All four. And there you go. Find him right out of the timeout. And what does he do? He scores. Rutwick will roll to the basket. Now he on the post up. He gives up height to Boya. But his move, second to none, goes back to his left shoulder and puts it. And every shooter is looking for anything to get them going. He made one, and they shot that one with confidence because the closeout was coming fast. Rutwood taking his time, backs down bar. Trying to take away the three ball from the Braves. Ball in the corner. Drives in and hands. 14 coming here in the second half. Still an 11 point lead for Loyola. 16.45 to go in the ball game. Rutwig gets it back from Ugwa. Left handed. John is up. I go to Krutwig right now, down low. He missed him again. Williamson through the double team, but found Krutwig. And it's four minutes here in the regular season finale, and it's a two point Loyola lead. Rutwick with three on the shot clock, fades away, and hits at the team 13, but as we mentioned, Bulldogs on January 7th in Des Moines come away with the victory. Leon Robbins, the big man, had a huge night that night for Drake. Oh, nice pass. Rutwick wide open. Crutwig posting up on Rob's point. He got that set off. Crutwig up on Robbins and a little strong, but Cam gets his own rebound. And the putback with the reverse. I mean, how many touches does Robbins even have in the second half? Not very many. No. They can take a tough shot. Crutwig. Half here in Springfield inside JQH Arena. It's at 13 now. I've been corrected.
Crutwig inside. Maximum effort on both ends of the floor. He has just been outstanding in this game, but his legs balling him. Defense has been outstanding. 16 points, 9 rebounds. Falls to the deck, no call, and Crutwig. Chance of going in, but sometimes in Jesuit Jam, the basketball gods smile on you. <laughs> and that's what just happened here to Illinois State. Some professionalism attached to that. Yes, and Jonah did a valiant job. He tried his best. But, yeah, the, the professional dancer with the backwards worm, clearly the winner, though Jonah won. Well, back here at the Genteel Arena, the Ramblers. With Brutwig on the inside and the lefty hook. Average possession time of over 19 seconds on D. That's the longest in the NCAA since the 15-16 season. So Dan Muller's team will fight you on defense. But so far, it's been a lot of success. The kick to Skokna in the corner. And that three way short. That was a pass. It's a pass to Broadway. <laughs> Two-point game here at the Gentile Arena. Go back inside for Crowley. That's automatic every 17 and 9 on the Ramblers, 9 and 4 in the Missouri Valley Conference. UNI is 22 and 3 and 11 and 2 in conference play, as you saw. And right off the bat, it goes inside. Get into a manageable number. To do that, you have to make stops. It's a 7 0 run. Tate Hall in the front way on the spin move. Hall slashes through the lane. Got it back. Fife got a piece. Front way. Looked like a carnival rim. Went flat and fell through for Borja. Hand off here for Tate Hall. Back inside. Front way. You almost feel if you're loyal to Chicago, you're like, how are we even down right now in this game? But grab the Panthers for coming back. They came out. House on fire. It's 16 early. Williamson go to the front of the rim. Five of the Loyola Ramblers, Mike, are the top ten in the valley in steals. That's impressive. Including Crutwig. Williamson, Clemens, Paul, and Kennedy. One on one again. Four of six from distance from the young man from Piasta. Love the passing, you know, on a, on a half court set. The Ramblers glorify the hockey assist, the extra pass to get a better shot. Now it's coming. Mono Mono. Hard to stop. Two years ago, a couple of transfers as well. Tate Hall in there. Three pointer from the top of the key is rebounded by Crutwig. You called him the best passing big man in the league. We've had other coaches say he's the best passing big man in the whole country. Oh, I mean, we said this before, and everybody compares him to Nikola Jokic of the Nuggets. He's like him. <laughs> it's just knocking them down and being in balance and in rhythm. But if you can make a team like them a little off balance, you can get the win. Nice pass to Cutler. Last year, an ankle injury. A broken thumb ultimately ended his season, and then this year he broke his wrist. Unbelievable. All different. Eight. Front wing, who has eight so far. Takes the feed and scores. Start the second half with the ball and a four-point lead. Inside for Crookwig immediately lays it in. Alpo. The senior Kaiser, his first three of the game. Cuts the lead to seven. Crutwig in traffic, thanks to that class. Four of six to begin. The two teams combined, six of eight. Crutwig turn around in the lane, and he's uh, not next year, but in two years. Bronson Kessinger in off the bench, defends on Crutwig, doesn't. There's no dominant standout freshman, with maybe the exception of Vernon Carey. You look at those teams, they're guys that are, you know, sad to say, sophomores and juniors are now veterans at Colgio. Well, Sheets Crutwood on Kessinger, and he scores. I post and go deep in the shot clock. And we go right to him. And with the left.
mismatch in the side now for Prutwig. Muscled it through the double. Left it short. Another offensive rebound by Clemens. Now here's Crut going to work. Left hand down. This has been a one bid league the last few years. Kickins. Side. Crutwig, pretty pass from Uden. Winners of 11 of their last 14, currently in a share of first place. They're trying to win their fifth and sixth tries. It's a very good defensive Loyola team, but they're not too bad on offense either. They've really turned it on shooting the basketball lately. And their offense runs through this guy, Cram. Cam. Everything changed for Loyola when Keith Clemens became their point guard. First year junior college transfer. And he can go for the jam. Paxson Wojcik into the game out of the timeout. Back into Crutwick, single cup. And they go right into Crutwick. And there he goes again. Close tonight. And Loyola's already in the bonus. Lemon shut off. Two point guards out there with Krupwig. And that with a three-point play. Plays about nine minutes a game. Krupwig on the block. Backs in Dahl and score. Long shots, long rebounds. Loyola, one of the best shooting teams in the country. As nice. Krupwig shows you why. Loyola. Krupwig bullet pass. Nice speed to Krupwig. Beautiful offense. Way to Loyola. Kimmins ties a career high with 13 points after making one out of two. Nice feed on the pick and roll with Krutwig, who's a senior, a fifth-year senior, is back in, providing some experience. Three minutes to go, five-point game. Ten on the shot clock. Krutwig orchestrating, spins and scores. Roaring for one more stop. Crutwig to the rim, easy layup. See, that's what... Loyola's well, got to hurry. Got to get buckets quickly, and they will so with Crutwig. That's a score. Neither has Crutwig. Changes that with his first two of the game. That possession. We've got Clemens wide open in the corner. Couldn't get it to him in time. Crutwig sees a path to the basket. Flips it up and in. There's the double. Crutwig thought about it. Has not made a three-pointer this season. And a chance for three. The only know that you care about him yep. and that you're doing it for the right reasons. And the jacket's off after the warning. Crutwig. Who won? Back to Crutwig. Crutwig on Benson. Oh, yeah, that's 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 funny. The Godfather didn't like those comments at all. No. <laughs> Crutwig on Benson. Wow. Oh, shot. No. Played at Navy. Head coach at Tulsa and Charleston. One of the top assistants to Tom Izzo, Michigan State. His son's a heck of a player as well.
a third place game. <laughs> Drake had their number that night. Crutwig, nice move on the block and lays it home. And Drake extends the lead to six. Let's see if Crutwig goes back to the left hand here. With the left, oh, baby hook, and he knocks it. Bulldogs. Hall tries to answer. Woefully short, but back up. Nine in that game against Davidson in the second half. Blew it. Marquise Kennedy. Williamson, five to shoot. Williamson on the drive. Crutwig with three. Goes against Ernst with a left and spins it in. Right off the top. At the high post, Crutwig attacks on Robinson, banks it in. Minutes of the home portion of the schedule here at Furman. Down low, they go to Crutwig and with the left hand. Long rebound run down by Williamson. Doesn't have the numbers. Crutwig thought about it. They're backing off, saying, go ahead and shoot it. Instead, he'll go at Slauson, and their largest of the game, 42-32. Three minutes plus gone by here in the second half. Williamson baseline, nice pass underneath to Crutwig. Crutwig nice. clears the rebound. It's a nice box out because you had Gurley crashing. Trying to get back into single digits again. Left hand, got it. Makes his return for the heels. And that's exciting. Cole Anthony's such a talent. That's what their coaches told us in shoot around today. That's how they want to execute. Perfect plan to open this game. Opening touch for the Ramblers. It's Crutwick down low, lays it home on the Ramblers. And the Ramblers, we are underway again. We appreciate you joining us here on the Valley on ESPN on a Wednesday night, a rainy Wednesday night here at Evansville. But Good thing basketball is played indoors. Crutwig right away. Good defense by Coleman. Crutwig doesn't. Type of shot that Evansville has kind of had to settle for late in the possession. Here, something special for Loyola. Everybody knows that. And, and maybe a little magic can go a long way with winning on the road in this venue. My favorite part of that shot was Porter Moser with the jacket off. There right you now go. you see him with the jacket on, but that could come off at any point in time. But now of Coolman, who's been hot as of late for the Aces. And yeah, the transfer from Coastal Carolina trying to give some significant minutes here today and maybe some help inside on Crutwood. They just go right back to him. Left hand dominance. Two e and also looking for him to contribute as he has the last few outings for the Aces. Freshman Kennedy working in the paint. Now Crutwood, see if Riley wants to come help. He will not, and that's just way too easy. Starts by the big men for the Ramblers. They're trying desperately to get going inside. Maybe this one will be the answer. And there. Rutwick got a lead block, still can't buy one. And now he has. Unfortunately for them, they came out one and three. Five on the shot clock. Hall attacks the rim, nice feed to Cutwig, who throws it.